Welcome in, everybody, to our Bears rebuild. Coming off a tough Super Bowl loss where our defense let us down, a defense that really stepped up to get us to the Super Bowl, but against a rookie quarterback, just couldn't handle it. So offseason ahead of us, looking to take that one last final step in what is likely going to be our final full season here of the rebuild might get a little bit of sim action depending on how much time i have this week i leave for europe on saturday so tbd on how much more we have left definitely going to get one more season in and uh, we're gonna get that rolling here tonight but not a ton to do this week i think we can go to our resign stage and I do have plans to trade for Jalen Ramsey. Florida State connections with our superstar safety, Derwin James. 30 years old there for Jalen Ramsey. The Rams finished with a top 10 pick this year. So very realistic for them to move off of him. Uh, that will come next week. But, wow, J.J. Watt did not retire Got so close with us. He's still pretty good. I don't see why we wouldn't bring him back. Him and Davenport. We did kind of decide we were going to let Eddie Jackson go. We actually have a decent amount of decisions to make here this week. So let's, let's take care of Davenport first. I mean, we have really not come up with any answers other than him we did draft a guy in the first round that played pretty well last year but i think this is a good contract for davenport <laughs> where is my chicago bear yeah teddy come here good marcus davenport kept took our deal so we're gonna do that i think cody whitehair at that price still a very good player i think we bring him back Okay, he's going to test the market. We might be able to get him still. I think I will let Cole Komet go. Really good player. Has played well for us, but we drafted a tight end in the second round last year. Whoa, that's loud. Holy crap. Thank you, Cheesehead Joey. Appreciate you supporting the channel, my friend. We love you. Give you a little saw, dude. Saw, dude. Beyond that... Man, Daz Newsom's made some plays for us, but I don't want to pay him that much. Maybe we can bring him back. I think I think we let the rest of these guys go. I, I think we bring J.J. Watt back, you guys. He's still very good. He had a great year for us. A guy that is, has uh, posted a lot of love for Chicago on social media. Oh, he's not interested in re-signing. So we're going to have to take a look at J.J. and Cody Whitehair in free agency but we do retain marcus davenport and i'm gonna i'm gonna push to get jj watt back but can we make trades this week i think if we turn the trade deadline off we can hey teddy we need our little general manager here hi buddy hello Let's get the Teddy Cam going here. Boom. <laughs> huh? Yeah, you can turn the fireplace on. I am going to turn the trade deadline off and make this move this week so that it's all sorted before we get to free agency so our cap doesn't get all messed up. You can make trades before free agency. The trade deadline should be off for this this week. Now, we probably need to create the uh, Rams user here to kind of force this trade through. Would a Saints rebuild be fun? Yeah, a Saints rebuild would be fun. It's kind of a complicated, you know, middling team. But trying to sort through how that would all work out would be fun. A lot of fun players on that team. 
I don't know how challenging it would be. It's a pretty good team. But yeah, I am going to, I think, trade for Jalen Ramsey. I think a second and a little bit. Uh, he's very expensive, 22 million, but 30 years old. Can we just get Aaron Donald too? <laughs> I think this would be a, a second and like a future fourth is probably what this trade would look like. And that's going to eat up a lot of our cap space, but let's do it. So we have a Florida State centric secondary here and hopefully that move can really help our defense after it really struggled in the super bowl there let a rookie quarterback really dominate us hopefully that can be a big transaction that sets us over the edge it's definitely going to limit what we what we're able to sign this this offseason but that'll be a fun one so that means we can advance to free agency. We have $20 million in cap space. So it doesn't mean we can't do anything. We're just a little bit more limited. Aaron Donald hit the market. Dude. Get Jalen Ramsey and Aaron Donald over here. God, that's so tempting. I don't even know if we can afford him though. He wants 20 million. I don't I don't even think we can we can afford that. So as tempting as that is. I don't think we can make it happen. So white hair's sitting there. He's not getting any offers. That's that's a big piece right there. I think we should just try to get white hair and Watt back here as kind of our last moves here of the offseason because we're we're in pretty damn good shape you know that the all their question would be like would we release a woozie so we could sign aaron donald i don't think so i think just getting jj watt back would be the move there because a woozie has got Yeah, because I want to play Kyler in the slot, keep a Woozie. Yeah, we'll just bring Watt back. Let's let's finish the journey with Watt. Another year here. As as amazing as Aaron Donald would be, I don't think we can afford that. The only other question beyond that is safety, because we did let Eddie Jackson go. So that leaves us with three point four million. And he's not getting any deals. Oh, man. I mean, I'll throw him a little... Something, something. 3.4 million for a 31-year-old safety is not a horrible offer. He's down to 86 speed, but... I actually don't think that's a... I just don't know if Brisker's ready. He hasn't really done much for us. I think those are smart moves, guys. I think that's just kind of get the band back together plus Jalen Ramsey and a draft where we still have a first rounder. Let's see what we get. Will Ramsey be a 99 in next Madden? Potentially. All right, we got Watt and Whitehair. That was the main goal. I'm pretty indifferent on if we get um, Eddie Jackson, but let's, I guess, take a look. Still the top offer. I say we advance. Still no Eddie Jackson. We got fifth year options to do. Um, we already did fields. We manually did this on fields. So the time, this is actually our fifth year or fields fifth year that we're heading into here. So we don't, we already kind of went ahead and did that for us. So I'm going to decline that. Private workouts. I would say safety is is 
kind of the last position here. And we don't have a lot of info on these guys. So let's scout you two and you. Yeah, Cheesehead Joey. People are still sleeping on Rashawn Gary big time. People just don't even realize how good he was last year. He was kind of the last guy, like, as I was putting together my all-pro team, he was, like, the last, um, the first guy out, if that makes sense. Eddie Jackson rejected our contract, so that's fine. We will probably be drafting a safety. Let's see what... Well, at least the teams at the top could realistically be taking a quarterback this year. The Chargers won a decent amount of games. Um, it has us taking a guard. Okay. Let's do it. Let's get to the draft, baby. All right, Teddy doesn't like this. Come here, buddy. Oh, thank you for saying hi, Ted. Say goodbye. Bye. The Jets take a new quarterback. All of those safeties we saw were um, kind of second, third round players. So I think we, we can just go to our pick. Seahawks still drafting running backs early. <laughs> So, Javante Irons out of Notre Dame is sitting here. F pass block finesse. That's not good. As is Tyler Peters. We don't have a lot of these guys scouted too well. Um, we don't have a second rounder. This guy is pretty good. 4-4 four, four speed. Good man coverage. We don't have his zone, but he's... I think a pretty good fit for us. I think this is the pick, you guys. Jalen Jordan. He's 21 years old. I, I think that's kind of a no-brainer. Round out our secondary. Hidden Dev. Really good athleticism. All right, that's a good that's a good first round pick. We'll have to make up a school for him. And then we don't pick until the fourth round. So that's really all we got. Probably just gonna draft like a guard because we did lose Larry Borum. Um Yeah, I think we'll we'll just grab a guard for some depth here because we don't have a lot of cap space. Good athlete here, 21 years old. A impact block. Yeah, let's go. Dorian Blackwell. We got a fifth round pick. So we have... Oh, we need a tight end. We need more tight ends. That's something I could probably add in free agency when we get to the start of the year, but let's see. We went to LS... Uh, we drafted a guy at LSU last year. Should we take his... His replacement, Dennis Byron, or Frank Young out of Wisconsin, 6'6", 273. You know this guy can probably block. I think we take this dude. We have an athletic tight end. Let's take a blocking second guy. Only 71 strength. Wolf. Hopefully he's a good blocker at least. Honestly, I might double dip there if he's still there, if that other tight end is still there. Which he's not. Um, we only have, well, we got three active running backs. We definitely don't need receiver. We could use another safety. Yeah, I think we actually need another safety here. No draftable 
Safeties. Hugh Kitchens. Pretty good athlete. He'll at least be a special teamer. 6'2", 215. Yeah, Cheese said Joe. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, the new Madden stuff looks cool. I haven't been able to play the beta, so I, I don't know how it all works, but it's definitely getting me excited. I think the gameplay looks pretty fresh. Okay, this guy was a second or third round grade. He's 6'3, and he had, <laughs> excuse me, the best three cone and best 20 yard shuttle of anybody in the class. Let's just let's just take him. Interesting player. So we knew that draft was going to be a little bit more of a wash after after the first round, which we got a good player in the first. And he'll probably start over Brisker. Let's see how good these guys are. So Jalen Jordan is a 76 overall, you guys, for our first. That's a really good pick. Just a balanced stud. Really good pick. Hell yeah. Then we get Dorian Blackwell. 65 is actually pretty good for a fourth round guard at 21 years old. Frank Young is a 64. And he's got... Yeah, he's not very good. Hugh Kitchens is definitely just a special teamer. He probably won't make the team 55 overall. And then this Nate Thomas is interesting, at least. Thanks for the follow, Kinney Games. This guy's kind of like a big slot type. I don't mind him. Really good change of direction. Good short route running. He's like a big, interesting slot piece. Okay. Okay. All right, that was uh, an efficient but good offseason, you guys. We filled probably our two biggest needs and rounded out our secondary. I think we need to add a tight end in free agency here. But we should have time here to get through a little bit of the start of our first season. Yeah, like he is kind of, his last name's Thomas, and he is kind of like a Michael Thomas type that receiver we drafted. So. Let's look at tight end. Jack Stoll, the hero of our Eagles rebuild from Madden 22. We can't quite afford him. We really don't have a lot of cap space, you guys. We kind of got to go. We can't even afford any of these guys. We might need to take a look at our Q back, you got a beta code today? Nice. Let us know how it is. We might need to see if we can clear up a little bit of cap space here. Oh, we ended up with Deuce Vaughn. How do we get Deuce Vaughn on this team? I'm not complaining. We must have... We didn't draft him. Team must have picked him up at some point, but that's a good addition. A nice scat back compliment to AJ Dillon. Holy crap, when did we get him? Cheesehead Joey, another sub, thank you. I don't think we can find out, but... Okay, I like having Deuce Vaughn on this team. So that's fun. Um, Marcus Fleming, do we want him? 5'10", 170. I think we could clear a little cap space by releasing Marcus Fleming here. Quebec, you finished the PS5 roster? Are you have you been working with our team in the Discord or? I didn't realize you guys were even close to finishing it, but that's huge. That is huge. Jeez head Joey, man. You are coming in big time clutch right now. Thank you. So yeah, we gotta we gotta clear up some cap space somewhere here. I think Fleming. Let's just let Fleming go. He's not going to do anything for us. Came up off the, off the practice squad last year. 
Who are the other 99s in my roster other than Aaron Donald? Uh, probably just Donald right now. Honestly. I think Jalen Ramsey, Miles Garrett, close behind those guys, but... All right, Jack Stoll. There he is. We can just squeeze him onto the roster. So, do we have any upgrades we can do for our staff before we get moving? Let's work on our defense a little bit. So let's set our focus players. So let's go. Let's keep working on fields. Maybe he can earn superstar this year. I think Mike Barnett we continue working on. Let's go. I think Addison still getting better there. I think we should focus on Larry Meeks. We got Jalen Jordan in there. And then how about... Tyler Gordon for our focus players. All right. Let's get through the preseason. We're good to just keep going. Not going to really worry about scouts there. We're just going to have a, because this might be our last season, just going to have a custom generated draft class this year. JJ's been getting banged up here in the preseason. That's not a great sign. Who's my early picks for MVP? I like uh, I like Mahomes a lot this year. I think the narrative is kind of stacked against him a little bit. I like Mahomes. I kind of like Lamar. Those might be the two guys I actually bet on just based on the odds. Okay, cut week. We got only six cuts to make. Not too bad. So Nick Griggs is our backup. Let's just get familiar with him. Can't really make any changes here, but he's kind of a strong arm. 94th throw power. That's pretty good for a backup. We got our three running backs. Excited that we have Deuce Vaughn. I, I, that was a computer signing because we didn't have enough running backs on the team, but he makes a ton of sense as a third down back. 5'6", 173, kind of that Tariq Cohen presence. Ebner in the last year of his deal. So we got our top three guys, Nate Ramsey, Velas Jones, Nate Thomas. I think we practice squad these two guys. Tight end, we've got our three. O-line. Uh, we can probably make a couple cuts there. I think... I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move uh, Carter over to right guard, just so the team doesn't get confused. Because sometimes it does. If you don't have a backup. Yeah, I don't love answering who's my sleeper playoff team this time of year. I, I like the the deep dive series to speak for itself on that one. It's gonna be a lot of these teams that are coming in the deep dives over the next, you know, four to five drops. The teams that are in that 26 to 20 range, those are kind of your your sleepers, right? So I'm going to make you guys wait. I'm going to build the suspense. I'm going to I'm going to let Doug Kramer go and see if Trammel wants to develop. I think that's good for the O-line. Uh defensive end. Got 5 there, DT. Kind of want to keep an extra one just cuz Watt is probably going to try and get hurt. So let's Let's cut Henley here. We'll practice squad him. And then we got two more cuts to make. The linebacker room is completed. God, this cornerback room is sick, man. So, you're gone. I think this is going to be it right here. You're gone. And you're gone. The only other question is do we sign... Do we and can we sign, like, another veteran outside backer? Because that linebacker room was really thin. So can we get, like... Like, how much cap space do we even have here? Barely any. 
so we probably can't even really make this happen. Yeah, we're going to have to just roll with, with the players we have there. Really pushing the uh, salary bubble this year. Let's get to... Well, I guess we can at least assign our scouts. Well, we don't, we don't even know what the strength of the class is yet. So, we'll wait. Packers week one. We're going to play that one. So, set season goal is going to be make it to the Super Bowl and even win it after we made it last year. Let's do our weekly strategy. We'll do our upgrades. Listen, a new quarterback there. Is, is Aaron Rodgers done? Did, did Rodgers retire here? Let's take a look. He's gone. It's Anthony Richardson from Florida, the freak athlete. So the Packers just got a lot easier. That defense is still pretty nasty, but that will definitely open the doors for us in this division. Um, let's see, did Brady also retire at the same time? After two years in Detroit? <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. Justin Herbert, who we nerfed because they drafted a QB and he sucked, gets a revival chance following up Tom Brady, and they signed Aaron Donald. Look at this, these receivers. God. They got another one. Look at that receiving core with Herbert. Can I switch to the Lions? Can I make this a Lions rebuild and just launch freaking bombs? 99 speed Jamison Williams. They got a 95 speed white dude out of William and Mary. Oh my God. That's gonna be terrifying with a 98 throw power Justin Herbert. Holy crap, I don't know who. Um, wow, okay. So that's interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Let's, I love how Aaron Jones outlasted uh, Aaron Rodgers here. We're going to push the limits. We're going to try and throw deep on this defense. We are going to do um, full play the moments here in this first, first game of the season. So, again, we're going to go until 1045 here, and then I have a TFGO game scheduled against the Texans. So we'll be transitioning this stream into an online match. Let's do our depth chart, our upgrades, and then we'll get on with it. I am shivering in fear of the Lions. You kidding me? Like, I have not seen Top Gun yet. Nope. I was thinking, seeing, I wonder if you can get it on, download it anywhere, because I want to watch it on our, uh, our flight over to Europe. Would be a great... Great thing to load up. This team is locked and loaded. We really have no reason to not take that last step. We're going to need... We're going to need Evan Anthony to step up as our last linebacker there but we've got Jalen Jordan we got to give Jalen Jordan a college by the way and give him 30 32 is okay 34 is what's retired Brisker just is one guy that just never really surfaced here it's signing Derwin James definitely put a roadblock on him there but pretty clearly Jalen Jordan is better It's all right. Not every second round pick is going to work out. We got Deuce in there as third down back. That's fine with me. Rush left end. Rush right end. Yep. Uh, we'll go Drew Winter there. 
Slot corner is Kyler with uh, Vilder should be slot cornerback too. Okay. Give the rookie safety FSU as a school. It's only right. I think you're right considering he got the N.A. glitch there. That's a great call. I love that. Let's swag this guy out a little bit. Go number, give him number five. Why is that helmet even in the game anymore? I guess because older players still wear it, but. It already looks pretty good. Let's switch this to primary. It looks pretty good. But yeah, let's go Florida State. Love it. Do our upgrades and we'll hop in. Surprised Mike Barnett didn't go up to star after his rookie season. He had a good first year. It was our first round pick last year. Larry Meeks. He's up to a 73. He should play well for us. This guy's pretty dang good for a fourth round pick. Up to a 66 already. He should be a good backup. Chad Sneed, I think, just run defense here. Big bass catcher, that's another one, I'm just going to say. Well, I can answer that, but like... We'll, we'll obviously dive into Jameis with the Saints deep dive when that does come, but I would just say Sean Payton's probably like a 10%. If, if having Sean Payton is, is 100% of what you had last year, I would expect 10% less of that. So it's on Jameis to make up for that 10% is the way I think of it, I guess. Let's have some dominating offense today boys let's pass across the yard but the other thing is like we only got what was it six seven games of Jameis last year and they weren't all perfect so how much of what we got last year was actually how good he is was some of it a fluke it's just hard to impossible to know really it's a hard Hard one to predict. They seem to believe in him, though. They gave him a two-year, a legitimate two-year contract. Okay, kickoff, baby. Monday Night Primetime. Start 1-0. Defense needs help. So we can go... Actually, that's not our best defense anymore, because we got... Our base nickel is, is nasty. Oh, God. How to give that up, man. Yuck. Can't do that. Guess and run mid. Hopefully it's not a pass. Oh, it's a pass. Oh. Ah. Jeez. Ugly. Ugly start. Anthony Richardson taking over. Doing a good job. Got to get third and seven. This is a great defense, so we got to be careful. Oh, Larry Meeks. Hell yeah. Tough catch, but he holds on. I learned to hold RB with Justin Fields. <laughs> All right, let's get AJ Dillon. Bring in the hammer. We're gonna toss this weak side. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at Darnell Mooney holding the block out there. 
Go fix 34's number. Who's wearing 34? Blasting game. Remind me after the game so I don't forget. Okay, defense. Let's make it better. Let me get a better trip to the red zone this time. I think it's hilarious that Rodriguez got superstar before Roquan in this. There it is, Davenport. Would I rather go to the bar with Jamal Williams or J.J. Watt? Definitely J.J. Watt. Jamal Williams is funny, but I'd much rather hang out with J.J. Watt. Hello. I like that Jalen Ramsey got number 20 back, naturally. Oh! The rookie forces the fumble! Let's go, baby! More defense. We got third and 15. Get in there, Barnett. Oh, no. There we go. Time out. Watch the fake. Madden likes to do us like this. Kicker wearing 22, yep. I hate that it tells us this every time. Oh, come on, you guys. We knew it was coming. Oh, they didn't give it to him, though. Okay, I'll take it. And now we got two-minute drill. Thanks. Ian. I should really just skip those moments. Oh, what a what a throw! My God! Oh, fields through a pick in simulation. Just get it out of the way, I suppose. That was a hell of a throw, though. Agreed. Jalen number 20 looks way better than number 5. I don't know why he switched. I would have bought his jersey if he stuck with number 20, but the second he switched to 5, I was like, nah, I'm good. Ugh, pass rush. Alright, Fields, good job getting out of bounds there. Yeah, we have got to change the 34 on our running back. That is not acceptable. Oh! They gave it up. Beautiful. Nice drive. Third and one. Our defense is playing real well against Anthony Richardson. Oh, get there. Let's go. Darnell Mooney burns Devontae Adams. <laughs> We're at number 17 there. What a throw on the run. I didn't think that was going to work. Fields has made a couple beautiful throws. What's up, college football guy? Yes, sir. We got we got Jalen. Oh, no. Fields. I, I talked you up too soon. Yuck. That was a first down that he overthrew for an interception. Ouch. Man. They just they just turned this right back around. Ugh. Yeah, 17 did get his revenge on that one. Gifted. Devontae Adams interception, that's right. Oh, what was that? Yeah, Fields has definitely had his moments of uh, throws like that in this series. Ooh, he throws it away. They're going for it. I like going big nickel down in the red zone because we can get Brisker on the field, give him a, one last chance in the last year of his deal. We got Vilder out there. Oh, no, he, he had the, the guy I was trying to cover was coming open, but. 
gosh, we just can't put this game away. We got second and three. We're going to go big nickel, especially because our third linebacker isn't very good, so we can get Derwin to kind of play that big, big linebacker role. Oh, no. A lot of defense this game. Packers are tanking for Archie Manning. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, all right. They got it. See if Madden lets us play a little offense here. Barely. Second and three. Clock's on our side, so. Come on, Dylan. At least get the first. Is that Monty Rice? It's got to be. We got Georgia linebacking core. Find someone who loves you the way Brian Gutekunst loves a, a Georgia defender. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Just get it. Good coverage. There you go, Dylan. It is a bit surprising that Robert Tunyon's still here, a football guy. First down. Oh, gosh. That slide animation is so slow. Golly, how do we not connect on that? Got to lean on the run game here. This pass defense is pretty nasty. Kenny Clark waiting for it. All right, we got to pick this up. Although I do like our defense's chances to get a stop, but I'm, I'm going to pass for this. I'd rather not put it in our defense's hands if we don't have to. Yes, sir. Good work, Addison. Now we should be able to run this. Oh, come on. Come on. Like, seriously? You gonna let that hit you in the face, bro? One more run. Kick the field goal with like 20 seconds left. If we don't, if we don't pick this up, we got chance. Almost. All right, I like our defense's chances here. We gotta sit here and wait for it though. Good kick. All right, D. Finish the job. How about a little J.J. Watt sack? Yikes. We will give them that. Davenport seals the deal, most likely. Uh, they're going to get one more. G G is a hard fought 24 to 21 victory in our first game. A little bit sloppy from Fields, a little a little rust maybe. Two interceptions, neither my fault. Darnell Mooney, Larry Meeks, four for 44. Two sacks for Davenport, one for Mike Mike Barnett, JJ Watt. So the pass rush was working today. I will take any win I can get. 1-0. So Panthers next week and then Detroit. I think what we should do here is get to the week three game against Detroit and do uh, play full offense and try to keep pace with Herbert and those receivers.
That's right. Box score scouts have determined that Anthony Richardson is a better QB than Fields. Yes. One week sample size. Doesn't matter. All right. You are going to scout. Sure. You can scout running backs. You can scout right outside linebacker. You're going to scout defensive tackle. And you are going to also scout defensive tackle. So let's simulate this one against a good Panthers team, but I'm hoping we can win. We're up to an 84 overall. Otter deep dives are coming out every Sunday now until July. That is the uh, schedule you can expect. 34 to 31. Let's go. Huge. Outstanding. So Detroit is 2 and 0 oh, on 87 overall offense here. Definitely got to defend the deep pass. And we're going to throw it deep ourselves. I'm going to set a goal of 5 offensive touchdowns this week. Uh, Coaster Hour, I usually use Zencaster for the interviews, although the last time I used it, we had some issues with it, so. Um, geez, bunch of upgrades. All right. My backup is Zoom. Two trucking for AJ Dillon. I'm going to hold on to some of these for later. Just because we are supposed to play this TFGO game here in 15 minutes. So we'll just do ooh, four man coverage for Vilder. Just going to do the ones for our starters for this week, and then we'll hold on to these for later. Ika gets another block shedding. He's up to 94. We get our staff points that we can apply here. Keep going on. Get a four strength boost for Eco would be just unfair. So we are going to go full offense here this week. We do have to deal with Aaron Donald, even if we're simulating the defense's uh, attempts to slow down the fastest wide receiving core in NFL history. This wide receiving core is faster than frickin' what Miami's working with right now. We held no field goal. Good run. God, A.J. Dillon's fun. Oh, I forgot to change the freaking number. It's so hard to remember to do that. There you go, Larry Meeks. We still got Walter Payton for one more game. <laughs> Higgins has definitely been, I don't, I don't think he's been disappointing, but he just hasn't been like ultra productive for us. Now I say that and he freaking. Ooh, almost. I just got disappointed you guys because I was thinking yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday and we were getting a new episode of Obi-Wan, but two more days. Dive. Oh, he got stuffed. Okay, we'll, we'll give it to Dylan. Although, I think we got we got a safety or a linebacker on Mooney out there. Oh, yeah. All day. All day. I don't know what's with Darnell Mooney roasting. Oh, it's Telenoa Hufunga. Roasting D-backs wearing number 17, but... So far, our defense is doing their job. I forgot to check the box score, too, for that game against the Panthers. 
Ooh, good hit by 40. That's all right. We'll take a look at the stats uh, before we move on to our TFGO game. Third and four, little spot concept. Oh gosh. Our timing on those throws with Justin Fields for some reason is just always off. I don't think so, college football guy. Not after we went to the Super Bowl last year. <laughs> Did you miss that? <laughs> I think I think going to the Super Bowl buys you at least two years. Hey, defense is doing their job so far. Oh my gosh. Fields just barely escaping the breath of the DT. Whew, that was dangerous. Nice. Nice little floating pass. Nice. Oh, Higgins can't quite hold on to the block. Beautiful route. Good pass, pro. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Dylan trying his best to get in. We're going to boot this out. Keep an eye on Meeks. Oh, my God. How? How? What? He was behind him. How did he pick that? We've thrown four interceptions for touchdowns this year. That might be an Oh, come on, Meeks. Lousy. Lousy. Okay, can we get man coverage here? Oh, no! At least our defense is playing well, because we are struggling at the moment. Come on, Fields! I was trying to get rid of it. Yikes. Our defense is going off. Still have the lead. There we go. There's AD, we're 92. Just bench pressing AJ Dillon at 35 years old. If it were anybody else, I'd say that's BS, but I'd believe it. Oh God, he stopped his route the second I threw it. I'm lucky that wasn't picked. <laughs> Oh no. Aiden Hutchinson. The red zone trips have been difficult for us. There it is, Higgins. Hell yeah. That's what you're here for. It's been like the best T. Higgins game we've had in a while. Hey, we'll get the ball back too. I don't know who's on Mooney, but he looks big and slow. He is big and slow. Step into it. Oh, beautiful throw. That's Melifanu. 
What's the penalty, though? Personal foul. You can't do that. Shh, 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 shh. That ball had some air under it from Fields. Oh God, oh God. Thank God that didn't get picked. I thought we could float that over that linebacker's head, but he had good coverage there. Thank God that didn't get picked. Higgins again, wow. And the ball again. So much for Justin Herbert lighting up the scoreboard. Poor guy, just Madden hates him. Keep an eye on Larry Mix Meeks here. I think this is cover six. Yep. We got kind of an interesting release that was like uniquely good against that. It was not cover six, but it worked. Oh, come on. Let's see if that DN crashes in. Dang it. Fields might have had a touchdown if that DN didn't read. Read Fields. Oh, boy. Hutch. Is that three sacks today for Hutch? Let's go screen on third and 21 to Walter Payton. Oh, man, Forty's making some plays. Oh, that's Rashawn Evans. Wow. Okay, well, we'll just pin him. Good punt. <laughs> Herbert, three and out. Just brutal. Okay, we got to do it. It goes on both sides. Oh, Mooney. No, Donald does Aaron Donald things. Mooney had a touchdown too. Oh, that one hurts. That one hurts. That is why you pay, pay Aaron Donald, everybody. Look at Darnell Mooney here. Uh, maybe not quite as bad as I thought. You pay Aaron Donald so that EA's blocking logic can glitch out. Literally, what the fuck? Who's rushing the passer, Aaron Donald or Jack Stoll? <laughs> yeah, let's just not block Aaron Donald. Great idea. Also, Aaron Donald rushing off the edge because he's a DN. Thanks, EA. Not sure why I'm playing defense right now. That is a true thanks EA moment right there. Oh my God, they got a field goal. Third down. Where would Aaron Donald rank among current edge rushers? I think you'd probably put Miles Garrett over him. Probably the Bose is over him. Mm, probably like five ish. Like he's still really good off the edge, but not quite the same. I'm ignoring you, Joshy boy. I, I'm not ignoring you. I just didn't see what you said. Man, this is poor. I guess I did nerf him. 
as a result of him not playing well. But Herbert just is not destined for greatness in this rebuild. Literally, if he just threw deep balls every play, I think. There you go, Higgins, another one. Aaron Donald playing outside corner would be better than Kevin King. Yeah, it's pretty close. I would never nerf Joe Burrow. Hey, Joe Burrow's never played as bad as just Nerver played in Madden. Exactly, she said, Joey. Exactly. No, but I said it when they gave Kevin King $5 million last year. I said, fucking nobody was even thinking about Kevin King. And they gave him, uh, I'm doing it. Screw it. Come on, Meeks, make a play. Get it. Hey, let's go, Larry Meeks. <laughs> let's go. Thanks, EA. <laughs> oh, that'll kickstart his career. A little garbage time channeling his uh, inner stat, Patford. Here in Detroit. I think we get a zero blitz. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get a little Walter Payton touchdown here. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know about that, but I'll take it. Thanks, EA. Lions fans, not happy on this one. I still can't believe that Larry Meeks catch. That was just crazy. Stay in bounds. Field goal seals it here, so. We are gonna start 3-0, you guys. That is about as much as I could have asked for here. Fields holds on to the ball. Dude, the Matt Patricia offensive coordinator rumors, Coaster Hour. What the hell are the Patriots doing? He's got a defensive background. Why would you? He, and he wasn't even good at defense. Watch Matt Patricia just low key be a fucking like offensive genius. <laughs> just turns out he, he was never a defensive guy to begin with. He should have been on the offensive side of the ball. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I doubt it. But yeah, that was that's that's um, suspect to say the least. You correctly predicted the Seahawks as the last deep dive. Congrats. Who's next? There it is, Dylan. There's a nice run. All right, let's get out of here. Thirty-eight to sixteen. Interesting game. T. Higgins, Larry Meeks. Yikes, what happened there? Miles Hinton somehow allowed three sacks. I didn't even notice he was in there. Mike Barnett, two sacks. Roquan a pick. Predicting the Panthers next? Okay, okay, we'll see, we'll see. Chiefs had Joey's going Giants. So, we are going to wrap this thing up. We are going to change Walter Payton's number here for Deuce Vaughn, who's... Oh, Jalen Ramsey got hurt. Uh-oh. Hopefully that's nothing serious. He even kind of looks like Walter Payton. Except for he's 5'6", 180 pounds. We'll go... Uh, we'll go 21. It's a good scat back number. So, let's look at our stats before we get out of here. We are 3 and 0, oh, baby. Fields leads the league in passing yards. Only three interceptions, and none of them really our fault, I feel like. what? I can't even remember which one I threw against. Oh, yeah, it went through our tight end's hands. That wasn't my fault. So, three weird interceptions, but he's having a great year. 
Dylan's been a little bit quiet. Larry Meeks off to a good start, 200 yards, three touchdowns. Getting Higgins a little more involved this year. And then defensively, Roquan, Mike Barnett, three sacks. Jalen Jordan's got a pick and a forced fumble. It's a good start for the first round rookie. So that is going to do it for our Bears rebuild here. And then we are going to transition now over to a TFGO game. But if you are watching this up on TFG Plays, thank you for watching. Please do hit that like button. And we'll see you guys for the next one.